Did you know that the Vatican City is a sovereign state all by itself? And that it has a monetary value of nearly nothing? Both in terms of land size and population, the Vatican City State is the tiniest country on the planet. In addition, it does not have its own naval or air force. They also have very few natural resources to draw from. It's no coincidence that the Catholic Church, the world's second largest religion with almost 1.3 billion adherents, has its seat in the Vatican. The Roman Catholic Church relies almost entirely on your donations and gifts to fund its massive dominion and vast resources and wealth. As a result of the many scandals and charges that have plagued the Catholic Church throughout the years, it's been difficult to estimate its true value. People might quit donating if they realize how much money they have. Some of you, I'm sure, would say that you donate to the needy and engage in other acts of charity. This video will discuss some of the Vatican's wealth, some of which you may already know, and others of which you may have no clue. But before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell icon to get notified anytime we post more content like this. Number 1. The Holy See The Holy See's revenue is the first topic on our agenda. Because the Vatican City and the Holy See are two independent entities, understanding the Vatican's complicated economy is crucial. The Vatican's supreme authority is the Holy See. A contract with the territory would have to be entered through by contracting with the Holy See while Vatican City only serves as a physical location for the Holy See. Most of the Holy See's funding comes from Peter's Pence, a term used in the 8th century to describe donations from Catholics around the world. The Holy See also collects donations from individuals and dioceses through a specific agency within the church. Interest and investments in the Holy See reserves also bring in money for the Vatican. Many people feel that the country's finances are not audited, despite the efforts of Pope Francis and Pope Benedict XVI who have both worked to improve the transparency of the country. As a result, it's difficult to gauge the Holy See's finance standing, although many who study the church have little doubt that it has large reserves. Number 2. The Vatican Bank in terms of the Vatican's finances, the Vatican Bank's role is possibly one of the least understood and most disputed. The Vatican Bank, also known as the Institute for the Works of Religion, is a private bank based in Vatican City, founded in 1942 by Pope Pius XII, and currently valued at approximately $8 billion. Many controversies and allegations of money laundering and fraud have been leveled against the bank in recent years. An investigation into the 50 million euro money laundering and fraudulent real estate scheme were disclosed by the Vatican Bank earlier this year. It was noted in the Vatican Bank's 2018 annual report that it has made progress in eliminating money laundering and improving financial transparency. 2017's $36 million profit was replaced by 2018's $19.8 million profit. There were roughly 15,000 people with accounts at the bank and its assets were worth $5.6 billion by the end of 2018. Vatican employees and religious orders around the world were among these account holders. Corruption was eliminated and the bank was cleaned up by Pope Benedict before Francis took over. Those who live in Vatican City and those who are employed by the church are only allowed to open Vatican bank accounts. But Gerald Posner, a Vatican bank historian and the author of God's Bankers, claimed that these accounts were handed to influential Italian politicians who wanted to avoid paying taxes. According to rumors, Adolf Hitler utilized the bank for money laundering at some point after it was established. He was also able to do so by the way of Swiss banks. Number 3. The Vatican had over 1.1 billion euros off its balance sheet. The Vatican is a separate entity from the Vatican Bank and had to be cleaned up on its own. A total of 1.1 billion euros, that's 1.2 billion dollars in assets not previously listed were included in the Vatican's 2014 financial statements which were made public in July. There are two primary divisions within the Vatican, the Curia and the Apostolic Palace. The Vatican City State and the Holy See are the two governing bodies of the Catholic Church. While the Vatican Bank gave the Holy See almost 50 million euros in 2014, the Holy See nevertheless had a deficit of 25.6 million euros, that's $27.9 million, paying its 2,880 employees a total of 126.6 million euros and was the company's highest expense last year. The Vatican museums are run by the Vatican City State, which had a surplus of 63.5 5 million euros in 2014, more than double the previous year's surplus. Number 4. At some point, the Sistine Chapel was used to earn revenue. In October 2014, Porsche became the first company to hire the Sistine Chapel. 
The Vatican Art for a Charity program is thought to have attracted 40 Porsche enthusiasts who paid $5,900 each to attend a gala under Michelangelo's famous painted ceiling. Due to concerns about damaging the frescoes, the Porsche guests were given an exclusive choral performance and a private meal in the chapel. The Vatican maintains that it is not renting out the chapel even though money was exchanged. No one can rent the Sistine Chapel because it is not a business location, according to a spokesperson for the Vatican, Monsieur Paolo Nicolini. For private groups, though, he described it as visible. The chapel, however, is only available for art-related activities, so don't try to book it for your birthday or wedding anytime soon. Number 5. It's quite expensive to be a saint. It would appear that the process of canonizing a priest is not inexpensive. After raising more than $200,000, Lacawant Seville, New York's own Lady of Victory, National Shrine and Basilica is working to have Father Nelson Baker, who served there for many years, canonized. Materials on Baker, prayer cards, communication between the church and the Vatican travel expenses for visit to and from Rome and the fees for a canon lawyer are covered by the funds. Many variables might affect the expense of canonization, including the length of the process and the precise proof required to support a candidate for sainthood. In 1987, the Roman Catholic Church received a request from the Catholic Church to canonize Baker. However, Our Lady of Victory still has to establish that Baker performed miracles after the application was authorized in 2011. Number 6. Tourism revenues in Vatican City has tripled under Pope Francis. Travel has increased nearly threefold under Pope Francis, which, since his installation as Pope in March 2013, more than 12 million people have been to the Vatican to see Pope Francis in person. And that doesn't even take into account the additional 13 million people who came to see Pope Francis at events outside the Vatican. During his time in office, Pope Benedict was visited by roughly 20.5 million people. Number 7. The Catholic Church in Australia alone is worth more than $30 billion. That makes it more valuable than Starbucks and others of the world's most valued companies combined. It's possible to calculate the monetary value of the Catholic Church if we perform the arithmetic. With an estimated 5.5 million followers in Australia, the Australian Church was able to raise $5,454 for each one of them through its fundraising efforts. Because there are over 372 million Catholics worldwide in nations like the United States, Canada and Australia, the Roman Catholic Church has a market value of nearly $2 trillion. The Vatican as the world's tiniest country is shrouded in mystery when it comes to its economic affairs. It's been decades since the Vatican's finances were made public and many believe that Pope Francis and his reforms will finally bring them into the open. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please let us know the ones that caught your eye and if you have more, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up so we can keep producing more content like this for you. Until next time.